It's November 30th, 2021. I'm Todd Dunn, and today I am uh, going to do a product video for a new toy that I just bought. And what is the toy? Well, let's take a look. Now, here we go. This is a Victron Blue Smart battery charger. It's a 12 volt charger rated at 15 amps. And it has the ability to charge pretty much any uh, standard battery. Uh, flooded lead acid, AGM, gel, uh, what have you. And lithium batteries, in particular lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now this is rated as IP65, which means it is reasonably waterproof. You could, you know, get it wet and it shouldn't be a problem. It's also dust sealed, so it should be able to operate in a dusty, damp environment with no problems at all. It has a more or less standard approximately six foot cord to plug it into AC. And to connect it to the battery, it has this. Well, how do you connect a battery to that? Well, this is a quick connect and the charger came with two sets of battery connection cables. The first one is standard alligator clips. They're nice plastic body alligator clips with, uh, you know, reasonably decent uh, springs and uh, decent metal inside. So they're pretty good. And the way you connect them to this is you turn it so that the blue side is up on both of them, plug it in, and then you press the back end of this. I'll turn it sideways. And that lifts a lock. Plug it in, and down it goes, and that's locked and ready to use. So that's, more for most batteries, that's what you're going to use, alligator clips. It also comes with a set of 8 millimeter ring terminals, which are great for lithium iron phosphate batteries, which almost all have M8 or 8 millimeter connections. Plug it in. And there you go. You're ready to connect this directly to your lithium battery and to snug it down if you want to leave it connected to charge. So that is the physical aspect of the charger. Now it you select which type of battery you're charging by pressing this mode button. And I have to say I found the mode button to be a little finicky. But you press it and you will cycle through the four options here. Normal, which is for lead acid batteries with about a 14.4 uh, volt bulk charge. High, which is going to be for your uh, AGM batteries with a 14.7 bulk charge. And then there is a recondition. So if you have a somewhat uh, depleted battery, this will give it low amperage uh, somewhat higher voltage around 16 volts and then we've got lithium ion which works for your lithium iron phosphate batteries this is got set up for 14.2 volt bulk and absorption charge and a i believe a 13.6 volt float charge as i said you just push this down to cycle through it's not plugged in yet so it's not doing anything the mode you've selected shows up with an led here and once you charge, you're going to have an LED down here that shows what's going on. But the most important aspect of this is it is a blue smart charger. And if you see this, this is the Bluetooth symbol. So if you have a smartphone like this one, you can uh, download the Victron Connect app from either the Apple Store or the uh, Google Play Store, depending on what kind of phone you have, and control the charger from your phone. That is, in my opinion, the preferred way to do it. So I'm going to hook this charger up to a battery and we're going to run it through its paces. The uh, manual says to connect this to a battery first and then turn it on. Now I have not done that uh, because I want to set what kind of battery uh, we're going to charge. I've just uh, 
decided to charge my lithium iron phosphate battery. So we're going to use the mode button to cycle through. And hopefully get to lithium iron phosphate. I find this mode button a little finicky in that it's a little difficult to select things with it. As you can see I'm pushing it and basically nothing is happening. You can get it to work, but I've had trouble with it in the past, so I'm going to use my phone. And we're going to go over here to the Victron Connect app and start it. And this is the preferred way, from my point of view, to control this battery charger. So we'll let this load, and it will identify all the Victron gadgets you have that are available. This is the battery charger, oops, right here. So we'll touch that and it will start the Victron Connect. Now the first time you do this, it's gonna ask you for uh, a code and the code is six zeros. And you can change that if you want. So here we are in status bulk charge. And what I'm gonna do is go over here to settings and we're going to go to charger, okay, and we're going to select, okay, lithium ion right down here. So, lithium ion, and you can see it's changed to lithium ion there. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug it and connect the battery. So, basically, with the control app, you can go in here by pressing the settings button, which is the little cog wheel, and you can select which kind of battery you want to charge. Another thing that you can do is you can charge, set the maximum charge current. After charging a smaller battery, you might want, not want 15 amps. For example, I charged my lawnmower battery the other day, and so I set it to 4 amps because that's a low capacity battery. And if you want, you can go to advanced settings and set in your own charging parameters for whatever kind of battery you're using. I'm just going to use the predefined lithium ion uh, charging parameters here. So I'm going to unplug this and hook the battery up. Now I'll plug the charger back in. And the first thing it's going to do is go into test mode where it checks to see that the battery is capable and ready to be charged. The multiple uh, LEDs flashing indicated that uh, it was connecting to Bluetooth. And you can see on the app now that it's in bulk charge. And it shows up here as bulk charge. Right now it's charging at 15 amps. And here's the battery voltage on the app, 1381, and rising relatively rapidly. This battery was not significantly depleted. So, basically, that's all there is to it uh, in terms of charging. If you're going to charge a bunch of different kinds of batteries, I do recommend setting the battery type from the app before you connect the battery and then shutting the system down and connect the battery and power it back up. It will remember the last battery type you set it to the last time it was turned on. If you're just running the same kind of batteries all the time, you don't have to do that. You can connect the battery, plug it in, and it will remember what your battery was. Okay, so it's a pretty nice charger and it'll just run at bulk charge for a while till the voltage on this battery gets up to 14.2, which shouldn't take long because this battery is only depleted by about maybe three amp hours. And you see it's already up to 1396 
from 13.7. Well, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to go and show you one other thing about it. Uh, it has what's called a graph here, which uh, it uses to indicate where it is in the charging phase. I've not found this graph particularly useful because all it does is indicate with a little gray bar there which mode you're in and says the mode down there. And when you switch to the next mode, it changes. It also has history mode. And this records previous charging events. And uh, the current, like I recharged this battery the other day. And you can see it was, I ran it for 40 minutes and put 0.6 amps amp hours into it so far. It's been running for 2 minutes and 16 seconds at 15 amps and has already put 0.6 amp hours in. And it's you can see it's charging a lithium ion battery and its initial voltage was 1348 when I first connected it. So this will allow you to monitor uh, the details of charging, how long it's been going on and everything else. Now there are a couple of other things you can do with this. You can interface this with other Victron uh, Bluetooth gadgets. I have not done that yet. Didn't really see any reason to, but you can. Uh, let's go back to status. And you can see we're still in bulk charge and we're up to 14.02 volts. Now, actually, while we're waiting for that, Let's go back to settings, and this little cog wheel up here takes you into settings. If I can get my phone to work, my phone's a little fussy. There we go. One thing you can do, right up here at the top, it says function. And if you press that, come on, you have two options, charger and power supply. This battery charger can work as a standalone power supply when it is not connected to a battery. If I hit power supply, it would go into power supply mode and you could then set the output voltage that you wanted somewhere around 12 volts. And that is a, a nice function in that this can be either a 15 amp power supply or a 4 amp power supply, depending on where you have the charge current set to, or it can be a battery charger. So let's go back, drop out of settings, and you can see we're up to 1412, and it won't be long before the system switches to absorption charge when the battery gets up to 14.2 volts. So we'll just let that sit there, and we'll wait until it does. So overall, I like this little charger. As you can see, it's not very big. It's not very heavy. I have found it doesn't get particularly warm, even when it's charging like it is now at 15 amps. And uh, oh, it hit 14.2. It should switch to absorption. There it goes. And now that it's in absorption mode, it will gradually back. It will hold the battery at 14.2 volts for a lithium ion battery or lithium iron phosphate, and gradually decrease the current, which you can see here. It's quite nice to be able to monitor battery voltage and current continuously during the charge. The absorption charge uh, depends on how depleted the battery was in terms of how long it lasts. If the battery was not particularly depleted, it should last approximately half an hour. And if the battery was drawn way down, it could last as long as eight hours. Now, if you wanted to go back into settings, you could uh, reprogram that to whatever duration of absorption charge you wanted, which is one of the nice things about these Victron Blue Smart gadgets, that you they're completely programmable, and you can set them up to do just about any battery that you want. Okay, so that is my new uh, Victron Blue Smart 12 volt 15 amp battery charger. See, it's uh, getting through the absorption phase pretty fast, down to eight and a half amps already. And uh, it works very nicely. 
it is also completely silent. Okay, another feature of this charger, if you want to leave it connected to your battery, is that after it achieves float mode for a while, it will switch over to storage mode and will reduce the uh, float voltage. For a lead acid battery, it'll drop down to about 13.2. And when it's in storage mode, once a week, the system will come on and do a brief absorption charge to make sure that the battery is fully charged. So it will maintain your battery at full charge at all times. So this is Victron Blue Smart Charger 12 volt 15 amp model. And I'm very happy with it. it. The fact that you can control it from your phone is very convenient. I haven't checked to see what the Bluetooth range is. I've heard it's not that great on this instrument, maybe 10 or 15 feet, but in a boat or on an R in an RV, that's probably adequate to work pretty much anywhere in the vehicle. So that's that. Just sum up this little toy and uh, illustrate how it works and how your phone can monitor for it for you and control the charger. So with that, I'm going to end this video. If you found it interesting, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't, why don't you consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that notification bell. Thanks for watching.